and I may have someone as an art director. Really? Yes, a friend of Grant's. Bruce Darby. Do you know him? Grant mentioned he was looking for an art director. He's made quite a name for himself. Yeah, Darby's quite the uh, flavor of the month, isn't he? You're not a fan of his. He just takes this minimalist thing to an extreme, which might be fine for some houses, but I don't think it's right for us. Megan, hi. Cancel my meeting with Mr. Darby, please. Thanks. Well, now I guess Grant isn't gonna like that one, is he? It's not his decision. No. Things certainly have changed around here. Is that a complaint? Not at all. I just wish I realized my mistake sooner. We all appreciate what you did, Logan. The whole family does. Even Stephanie? Maybe not her. Admit it, she thinks my reigning in Grant is just more game playing. But it isn't, you know. I was really trying to do the right thing. I know. I do hope you'll follow my lead. Ooh, I get to demote Grant now? No, that's not what I'm talking about. I put my pride and anger aside, and I realized that I went too far. I really think you should do the same thing. Just think about what you're doing. You're going to lose me and all of the dreams that we've had over one silly kiss. Logan, how many times do I have to tell you it really isn't the issue? No, it doesn't matter what the issue is. Nothing is worth throwing us away. What we used to have, what we still could have, that is the most precious thing in life, Ridge. And you used to know it. Tell me you still do, Ridge. Just say the word and we can start all over. <coughs> so sorry to interrupt. You were saying? Actually, I'm finished here. Yes, you certainly are. Macy, what did you want me to do? I couldn't drive my car. I couldn't get a cab. It was Christmas. Exactly. It was Christmas when you should have been with your family. Honey, I tried. Well, why did you have to go over there anyway? You know why. To drop off Claudia's bonus check. <laughs> Which she conveniently left behind. Honey, don't be ridiculous. Oh, the owner of the company is suddenly a delivery boy for his illegal employee, and I'm being ridiculous? They needed the money. Oh, please, Thorn, I'm not stupid. It was Christmas. The banks weren't open. You could have waited another day. Well, I would have if I would have known that I was going to get stuck down there. I mean, what do you think, Macy, that I didn't want to spend Christmas with you? I don't know, Thorn. I don't know. You tell me. You keep going on and on about Claudia and her family, how wonderful she is, how inspirational they are, how they really know the true meaning of Christmas. You know, I don't believe this. I try to tell you something that has had a real impact on me, and this is how you react? Thorn, you talk like they're all wearing halos. That family has been through hell. They have next to nothing. But I'll tell you one thing, Macy. There was more Christmas spirit in that tiny little room than anywhere in Beverly Hills. And you want to know the truth? You can learn something from them. Like what? Like how to forge a green card. That's it. We're not finished, Thorn. Yes, we are. Thorn. Missy, what was that all about?
this is really ridiculous. There's no need to get upset now. You're telling me not to get angry? I walk in here and see Brooke telling you to break things off with me? She's just having a bit of a difficult time letting go. That's the understatement of the decade. Look, I know why she's getting to you, but you might try and just see a little more of what she's going through. Hey, nobody knows what she's going through better than I do. You know, I also know that there are much better ways to handle this. Such as? <sighs> Such as she could take some responsibility for this. She got herself into it. No one told her to get involved with Grant. And she betrays your trust, and now she walks around here acting like she's the victim, and that really makes me mad. I can see that. You know, Rich, you made a very difficult decision here. You've told her over and over again what it is you want, but does she respect that? Does she make any attempt at all to move on with her life? No. She's too busy throwing herself at you like she's some kind of human battering ram. She really has no pride. I really think she's trying. Give me an example. She called off her dog. Oh, Ridge, don't you even give her brownie points for that. Brooke is the one who turned Grant against you to begin with. Yes, but she's realized now that she made a mistake. Oh, sure, sure. She's a master at that. The question is, when is she going to stop making these mistakes in the first place? That's what really kills me about all this. You and I have grown so much in these last few years. We have changed. We have learned a lot about ourselves and about each other. But Brooke hasn't. She's still the same desperate, clingy woman she was when we were married before. And I've got to tell you something, Ridge. That scares me to death. Come on, darling. Talk to me. Tell me what's wrong. You and Thorne had an argument, right? Yes. Well, what was it about? <laughs> what else? The amazing Saint Claudia. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I mean, I know I shouldn't have lost my temper, but I just couldn't help it. All I wanted to do was to spend a nice Christmas with my husband, something to ease the tension that we've had between us. And what does he do? He goes and he spends it with the one woman that's the source of all of her problems. I understand how that hurt, Macy. But let's try and be reasonable here. I'm sure Thorne did not deliberately desert you and his family on Christmas. Now, the truth is, his car did break down. That wasn't his fault. No. It's not entirely Thorne's fault. It's also Claudia's fault. She, she's using him, Mother. She played on his sympathies to get this job, which legally she's not even entitled to. He could get into a lot of trouble because of her, and she doesn't even care. She continues to, to take advantage of him, all the while pretending to be some sweet, innocent thing. I know, honey. I know how tough it is. I don't know how you stand it. Well, it's not easy, let me tell you. And I know that by getting upset with Thorne, I'm just playing into her hands, but it just makes me crazy. Mother, every time I've gone over to Forrester, I, I catch her either bringing him goodies or giving him massages. I caught some of that action at the Christmas party. What? What are you talking about? Oh, you didn't see the two of them. No, I didn't see the two of them. What were they doing? She kissed him. What? Under the mistletoe. Right after I tried to talk some sense into her, she went right ahead and kissed him in front of everybody. And what did Thorne do? Thorne just let her? Well, he didn't have much choice, honey. You see, you see, that just proves it, Mother. She is not just after a job. That woman is after my husband. I knew it. I knew there was something to this, something more than what Thorne was saying. Well, I've got to put a stop to this, Mother. I will not allow her to do this. Sorry. <laughs> Henry asked me to drop this off, and I thought you had left to see your wife. Well, I did, and now I'm back. Thank you. Is there a problem? It's me, isn't it? Your wife is angry at you because of me. Thorne, you have been so good to me, and all I ever do is cause you problems. Now I'm coming between you and your wife. I'm really sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? You're really not afraid of Brooke, are you? 
As much as I hate to admit it, yes. Why? Oh, come on. You remember what she was like when we were married. She was constantly coming between us, testing us. We couldn't even have an argument like a, a normal married couple without her swooping in like a vulture. And I still think that... What? Nothing. Well, come on, tell me. What? Well, with all the stress that I was under, sometimes I just wonder if that's the reason I couldn't get pregnant. And I don't want to go through that again. Taylor, you shouldn't be worrying about that. I do worry about it, especially when she starts acting like this. But that's going to change once we're married. We were married then, and it didn't stop her. Taylor, I think Brooke has grown a lot more than you give her credit for. She's too smart a woman to spend the rest of her life waiting for a man that's committed to someone else. Then somebody ought to tell her that. I have to run. Already? Yeah, there's something uh, I forgot I need to take care of. I'll see you later. Look, don't worry about Macy. There must be something I could do. I mean, this is my fault. No, really, it's not. She's just been kind of having a hard time lately. We're trying to have a baby, and it's just got her all stressed. I probably shouldn't have said that. I won't say anything. I better get back to work. Wait. I haven't had a chance to thank you yet for Christmas. It was kind of you to share it with me. Oh, I know it wasn't much, but... Oh, no, it was great, really. It was one of the best Christmases I've ever had. I really enjoyed meeting your family. They really enjoyed meeting you, too. <laughs> well, in appreciation, I uh, wanted to get you something, so... Here, this is for you. Now, darling, from what you've told me and what I've seen myself, I think there's only one way we can handle this. What are you doing? Hello? Uh, yes, I would like to speak to uh, Mr. Barlow, please. Tim Barlow? Oh, I see. He's out. Well, I wonder if you would do me a favor. Could you possibly try to reach him on his car phone? Tell him that Sally Spectra called, that it's very important that I see him. Thanks. Who was that? It's a friend. Then at the moment, the only person I can think of who can help us. His name is Tim Barlow. He is uh, an immigration agent. She just left his office? Thanks, Trish. Uh-uh-uh. Looks like you're in a hurry. Yes, I am, so if you don't mind. Actually, I do mind. You and I need to have a little talk. Taylor, I have a very busy schedule. Well, don't worry, this won't take long, and when I'm done, you can go back to harassing Ridge. That is where you were headed. All right, what do you want? You need to be told to start showing some self-respect and stop throwing yourself at a man who is not interested. Oh, I see. You accept a ring that was meant for me, wear a dress that was designed for me by a man who is in love with me, and I should show some self-respect? Get real, Taylor. If anybody should let go of Ridge for the sake of her pride, it should be you. Sorry, you didn't have to do this. I know that, but go ahead. Open it. <laughs> <laughs> Flower seeds. Well, your mother mentioned how much she missed her garden, and the girl at the shop said these grow in Central America. There's some herbs in there, too. Anyway, I, I thought it would make you feel more at home in your new country. This is so sweet. Mm -hmm. I got you a little plant or two and some soil. But I didn't want you to uh, have to carry it home on the bus so I could drop it by. I mean, if that's okay. Oh, that would be wonderful. It would make my mother very happy. Good. I hope so. Darn, you've been too kind. Believe me, Claudia. 
You have done just as much for me as I have for you. Honey. Listen. I don't like the idea of ratting on somebody any better than you do. But this young lady knows exactly what she's doing. She's taking advantage. She knows she doesn't belong there. I know, I know, and she doesn't. I'm just not so sure that calling the INS is the way to handle this. Well, honey, I can't think of anything else to do. We're fighting to save a marriage here. Ah, oh, hello. How are you, Tim? Nice to see you. It's been a long time. Well, we figured you learned your lesson a few years back. Yeah, well, I did with your help, and uh, that's why I, I wanted to see you. I need your help again. Uh, have you met my daughter, Macy? This is my friend, Tim Barlow. Nice to meet you, Macy. What's this all about, Sally? Well, someone has given my daughter a tip about uh, some uh, immigration violations. Oh, I get it. You want to cause problems for a competitor. No, we don't. In fact... You have to promise that their company won't get into any kind of trouble and, and no publicity, or I can't tell you this. She's right, Tim. It's very important that this be handled very discreetly. We really should remain anonymous. Look, I'm not making any deals here. Somebody's breaking the law. They gotta pay for it. And if you know something about it, you gotta testify. Well, what if I can't testify against this person? Look, the only person you can't testify against is maybe your husband. What did you say your last name was? It's Forrester. Mrs. Forrester? Please tell me everything you know. There is an illegal immigrant working in the Forrester sewing room. Her name is Claudia Cortez. And I want her out of there. Do you honestly believe that Ridge would marry me just to punish you? The facts speak for themselves. Do you know about the fact that I returned Rich's ring and told him not to give it back unless I was the woman that he really wanted to be with? I know. He told me. Did he tell you his answer? Yes. And you're still chasing him? No, I'm just trying to get him to open his eyes to the mistake that he's making. Well, there is a huge difference between opening his eyes and twisting his arm behind his back. I mean, you have used guilt and, and bribery, jealousy, blackmail, although none of it's working. I'm just trying to get him to see that he still loves me, and it is working. What, because he shows you some pity? A, a little concern? You think that means he still loves you? Just because you don't want to see Brooke, it. if even the smallest part of me thought that Ridge wanted to be with you instead of me, I would walk away from him and I would never look back. But that's not the case. Ridge took a good hard look at the kind of woman you are, and he decided he's better off without you. Now, when are you going to accept that? Never. Never? So then you admit that your engagement to Grant is a sham. I didn't say that. No, no, you told Ridge that you're moving on. You just told me you're not, so which one is it? All right, Taylor, fine. Do you want to hear it? Do you want me to tell you? I will. I don't believe that Ridge is going to marry you. But if he does, he and I are over. You don't mean that. Yes, I do mean it. The minute he says his vows to you, I go and marry Grant, and I move on with my life, and I never pursue Ridge ever again. I'm going to hold you to that one. You don't have to hold me to that. Do you really think I want to waste my precious time running after a man who's married? You've done it before. That's because I was miserable. Those were the worst years of my life. I was lonely, and I was desperate. I still remember those feelings of being helpless and out of control. I learned my lesson, Taylor. I am never going to put myself through that again. Why should I believe you? You don't have to believe me. 
But I am telling the truth. Just take my word for it. The day that Ridge marries you, he's yours.